So here we are inside the glenohumeral joint. So to my right here is the humeral head, and to my left is the glenoid surface. And this is the infamous slap tear. This is a type 2 slap tear in about a 40-year-old patient. So right above my probe here, you can see the biceps tendon. And to my left here is the superior labrum, extending anterior all the way back posterior. So S-L-A-P is superior labrum anterior to posterior. And this is a, a slap tear. So you can see the long head of the biceps coming in here and attaching to the superior labrum. Um, if we follow that around, you can see the biceps. That's the long head of the biceps. It's coming in here and it attaches to this area of the labrum up top here. And that's a really bad tear in this patient. So sort of debated in the literature a little bit, but given this patient's age, we're going to do a biceps tenodesis. So I'm going to take my arthroscopic scissors here. I'm going to just come in the front again with those. We're going to go ahead and perform our biceps tenotomy. So you can see that's getting completely around the long head of biceps tendon. That should be our second last cut here. And that's done. So we've released the biceps tendon there. And now we're going to come in and just debride this superior labral tissue. So here I've got my shaver in. We're just sort of debriding down the superior labral tissue down to a stable rim. And it looks a little bit better already. And then finally, I use electrocautery here just to to bride some of these, or I guess stabilize some of these loose ends here. And there you can see we've got it down to a pretty stable base of the superior labrum.